What's up everybody? Today we are going to be going over how I run Black Fathom Deeps. Now this is probably one of my favorite dungeons because this has a ton of good loot, especially if you're just starting out gold making. There are about 10 dungeon specific blues that are worth, gosh, upwards of even up to 40k, 50k. So just quickly, let's run through those. You have the Ring of Precision, you have Martyr's Chain, Crested Scepter, Doom Spike, Grimclaw, Honest Claymore, Staff of the Blessed Seer, and Staff of the Friar. So not only do you have those, but you also have a chance of getting the Buccaneer's Vest from here, which is also worth roughly 20 to 40k depending on your server, because of course it's a huge popular transmog set, and of course you want to look like a pirate. So that being said, let's get started on our run. Okay, so I always run this on my Feral Druid because I have a speed set. And I recommend that everyone run it on their Druid as well if they have speed sets, just because it's very, very efficient to run on a Druid. And I also always have Bear Tatar up as well. So right here, I always swim a little bit down into the water and I pause because there are these guys right here, these frightened prisoners who will drop down into the water and then all of these murlocs will come swim to you so you don't have to do anything. I hop into my f my travel form right here. I come up and swipe these two mobs. And then instead of hopping over the bridge, I feel like you have too high a chance to fall off and it takes too long. So I actually just go around this way. I climb up and then I kind of go through these tree limbs here. I moonfire down that mob over there because my AOE looting can get him. And I just kill these. I do have Sefus, I have the speed ring, so I do like to use my mass entanglement here to get the snap jaw, just so I can kind of sprint through this area here. You do kind of have to loot a couple times, unfortunately, so I kind of zigzag and get the turtles and these two more locks. And same thing here, I do, I use my moonfire to grab all of these. I kind of loot them, and then I hop into my travel form, my water form, and I come over this way. And the important thing in this room here is you can kill all of the trash, but you absolutely do not want to kill Domina. If you kill her, then you will not be able to spawn the ghouls at the very end, which is how you get a lot of your loot in this dungeon. So you kill this here and you leave this pack here with a Domina alone. Do not touch her. Okay, and then we hop back over this way. We get back into our travel form. And now as we come out this way, I don't go out of my way to get any of the Murlocs. I don't think it's really worth my time. I hop back up onto this platform here. I do kill this poor turtle just because he does drop some loot and you never know. And then same thing over here, because these murlocs are on my way, I do moon fire them down before I hop back into my water form. And sometimes you can get them if they're clumped just right, you can AOE loot them, but sometimes you can't. And in that case, I do have engineering, so my looter ring does come in handy. These two packs here are close enough, you can AOE loot them, you don't have to loot both of them. And same thing here, even though he's wandered a bit away, you can still loot both of them. And up here, there are tentacles that come out, like this one right here. I do not kill them because they don't drop any loot and they don't give me a speed boost either, so I consider it pointless. I do try to AOE loot when they are all clumped up, sometimes they're not though. And these here, I also use Mass Entanglement because I don't like to chase them down. Don't like chasing after them. Occasionally, there is a chest here. It's about 50-50 of the time up there. And then the other time, it's over here and we'll run up that way just so you guys know. And it is up this way, so perfect. It's locked, so we are going to use our scroll of unlocking. If you guys do not have inscription on your tunes you run dungeon on, then I highly recommend that you get it. Scroll of Unlocking is roughly 2 gold on my server, maybe up to 10 gold region, but it is absolutely worth it. These do not drop any loot, these guys that are running by, but everything else that's clumped together does, so as they run by, don't worry about it, they will not drop loot. Up here I do kill Thruk, just because he does drop loot, you never know what you're going to get. I leave this the crab alone though. And now there is always going to be a chest here. You can see it over on that platform over there. And then if it's not over there, it is over here on this platform. And in one of the two locations, there is 100% always a chest there. 
whether it's locked or unlocked is a different story, but there will always, always be a chest up in one of those two locations. This one is also locked, so we'll use another scroll of unlocking. See if we get anything good from it. No, we did not. All right, and I do try to use my sprint there. You can kill both of these in AoE loot. Got some Runt's Legards there. Very neat. All right, and this is the moment you all have been waiting for. This is the room with the ghouls. So right here, kill him. And then this is how you spawn it. And I did not point out as we ran by, I put, I avoided it completely, but there was Subjugator Corol, I believe is how you say his name. I did not go into that room either and kill him. But if you right click the fire of Akume right here, all of the ghouls spawn. And this is where I get a lot of my loot, so absolutely do not kill the bosses unless you are running by them like we did. Do not kill Domina. And once you kill all of these ghouls, you are done with the dungeon. You do not need to go kill the last boss. Make sure you get all of the loot. And then when you are done, you can dreamwalk out of there. So we'll do that. All right, guys, that's it. BFD is super, super easy. It is not complicated. So if you liked this video, if you found it useful, consider subscribing and hitting that bell button for alerts on all new content. And if you do not want to wait for new content, I am actually on Twitch as well. I stream five nights a week and I do host loot appraiser challenges. And I also give away pets every weekend. So I hope that I will see you there, guys. Thank you so much for watching.